Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video we'll take a look at installing the Docker engine on Oracle Linux 7. I'm making the assumption you have a clean Oracle Linux installation and you have access to the root user. If you need it, there's a separate video on how to install Oracle Linux 7. We need to enable some additional repositories, so we'll install the yumutils package. This makes it easier to manage available yum repositories from the command line. We're going to enable four repositories. The first two are required for the Docker installation. We use the yum config manager utility to enable the optional and add-ons repositories. The next two packages aren't necessary, but they give us access to preview stuff when it's available. We can see here we've enabled the preview and the developer repositories. We're now in a position where we can use yum to install the Docker engine. We also install a couple of butterfs packages as we'll use that as a file system. It's going to take about 30 seconds to install this. Docker uses the slash var slash lib slash docker directory to hold images and containers, so we want to hold that on a separate disk. On this machine I have a second disk, slash dev slash sdb, so let's partition it. We can see there's currently no partitions, just the sdb device. I'll partition it using fdisk as a single partition taking up all the space. Now we can see we have the slash dev slash sdb1 partition. Using df minus h, we can see there's nothing mounted directly to the slash var slash lib slash docker directory. We can create the file system and mount the disk manually, but the docker storage config utility does it for us. Notice we've specified the file system and the device. Using df-h, we can see that's now mounted to the var lib docker directory. It's also added to the etc fs tab file, so it will be auto mounted at startup. Now we just need to make sure the docker service is running. We enable then start it, and we can check the status. We can see the Docker service is active and running. We can check what version we've installed using the Docker version command. And there we have it, the Docker engine installed on Oracle Linux 7. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.